I didn't do a great job presenting yesterday, so I just want to go over uh, my project and explain it a little bit more in, in depth. Um, so yeah, the portals. So here you have um, two portals. The left one is a local portal, the right one is a remote portal. Uh, they are basically they look pretty similar, but the local portals are blue and they communicate with another local portal, which will in this case be this other portal here where remote portals communicate with a different room um, inside the same half server um, and both of them they show a rendering of the other side of the portal uh, but there's still a couple of differences on the local portal you have like this real-time rendering with this nice like parallax effect which adds some depth to the portal viewing experience it feels more realistic um, the remote portal is just a static image, so it's kind of dull. You can't really see any any depth on it, um, so it's a bit more more boring. Uh, but other than that, they are pretty similar uh, in how they work. So so how you do you use a portal is you just walk into it, and then there is some point where the traveling is triggered, and then you show up on the other end of the portal. So as local portals, as portals in general, bidirectional, you can just walk back inside that portal and this travel back to the other end for local for remote portals that's uh, pretty similar but you have a difference which is when you get close to the portal you have this effect the wormhole sort of effect which indicates that this portal is actually leading to a different point of the hub's galaxy so if you walk away then you see that disappearing if you walk in then you see that uh, going getting like more intense until the point when you actually just like trigger the traveling and then you are traveling to the other half room so as you see here this is a different half room that we travel to and we kind of hit, uh, hit this, that loading scene loading time be behind that wormhole sort of effect um, so here again we have like two um, portals two local portals communicate to each other and another remote portal that you can just walk in and then you go back to the original room which is like different rooms you can see up there so that's the basic functionality um, there's like a couple of three things that you will have liked to to work on i didn't have time to first is the portal uh rim effect so this rim effect is kind of pretty basic it works pretty okay but there are fancier effects that i would have liked to to have so you have this website, it's called Shader Tour, maybe some of you know, which they have like tons of shaders that people have contributed. You can actually get the, the source code and reuse uh, any of them that you want. So this uh, portal effect is super beautiful. And this is kind of the, the effect that I will have like to have, but I didn't really have time to adapt this, this shader to work and have. So this is what I was aiming for. Uh, more but yeah um, another thing that I would have liked to have is this when we see a remote portal in local portals you have that uh, nice parallax effect but for remote portals then the parallax effect is, is not there it's just like a static image uh, what you are seeing there so it's a bit more, more boring um, but there is this um, shading effect um, it's, it's called like parallax mapping where you use a make it rigged image um, and some uh, shader trickery to just simulate that parallax mapping effect and I think it would have nice to to have that so we could just take uh, a correct image from from the other portal uh, in blender and then um, pack that in the in the output GLB and then we could use that image in in halves and the shader to just simulate that parallax effect in their remote portal. That would be like a nice nice addition. Uh, the third thing that they would have liked to work on and they have time was this, this traveling effect. So right now, this is just another scene that we are uh, rendering and blending with the main scene. So while we are in this scene, then and we walk in, we just blend the loading scene and the, the current active scene. So that's just we're preloading in halves this loading scene uh, here and then we have this transition manager that renders either one scene or 
the loading scene, or it blends both, which is what is happening in this case here, while we are not still like fully, fully inside. So that scene is just is pretty simple. Is um, Blender I made this cylinder, which is just texture, and then the texture is mapped. And you are basically inside the cylinder while you are in the wormhole, so to speak. And then we are mapping the texture so you to have this this effect. But this is pretty simple. I think we could do that um, better with uh, some sort of post-processing effect, effect where we could just, um, instead of seeing, we could just have a shader and blend between the shader uh, drawing this uh, wormhole and one scene. So that would be something that we could, we could also do. Well, there are a few more things that could have, nice to have, uh, like a side bar, like panel of portals here where you can see all the portals and you can just go and see the description where they are traveling to, or even a map uh, seeing how portals communicate inside the room or with other uh, half instant, like other half uh, rooms, for example. So that would have been pretty nice. Um, so how do you add portals to halves now? So um, I made this component, which you can add, this portal component, that you can add to an empty, similarly to what you do with other halves components. And they have like the this settings. Um, the first one is the name, which is what you can see up here in the portal. Then you have the portal type, which is remote, like this one or local for this one. So when it's local, you can choose another portal in the scene. So both communicate with each other and you can see uh, in this portal, the perspective from the other portal. And for remote portals, then what you have is a, like a target is a URL. This can be like the scene URL or even the scene like anchor point where you want to land. Um, also for remote portals, you have this uh, portal uh, image, which is the static image that you are seeing from the from the other end, which basically for remote portals is just uh, this render that I took from this portal point of view. So just like added that rendered image here, and that's what you see on the other portal here. Um, then you have the bounce, which is the this is the volume that triggers the the portal action, which is traveling locally or remotely. So you can tweak the the bounce to just fine-tune where you want the portal to be, or where you want the portal to be to be triggered, was the triggering area, and you can just move it a uh, little bit around the portal position. Um, and that's basically it. So that's how portals work more in depth. Hope you liked it. Thank you.